Hi, it's Rue from the King's Roost again, just to give you a quick update. Triscuit here has been uh, under the weather for a few days. She's stopped eating and stopped pooping. So um, we've been feeding her a yogurt and Pedialyte mix. And in the last video, we did a crop exam and felt her crop and, sh and showed you where the crop is. It's this big bulbous thing just to the right of her chest. Hi, Dennis. And um, anyway, today, the crop, usually the crops are supposed to be empty by the morning, and in her case today, it feels like her crop is pretty distended and still full. We've emptied it a couple of times. Um, uh, there's discussion, been discussion about whether that's a good thing to do or not, but it seems to have been helping her. She perks up and she's able to, um, since we've done it, she's actually been able to eat some and poop some, so something seems to be helping with it. So. We're gonna give it another shot again, see if we can empty her crop today, and um, and I'm gonna show you how that's done, and uh, tell you a little bit about how we've done this. So the idea of emptying the crop is to turn her, point her facing down, and very gently massage that big bulbous um, It's like crop. a water balloon almost. It feels like a water balloon in there. Um, you gotta give them a break periodically, let them breathe. And one of the things, by the way, I, I've discovered about this is that you don't just grab it and squeeze it to cause them to empty out the crop. You massage it and then eventually it'll cause them to release and then you can give it a gentle squeeze and everything comes out. You don't have to use a lot of force. It seems to be, um, Dennis, can you Dennis. go on and get out of here? Come here, Dennis. So point her down and I'm just giving it a gentle massage, gentle squeezes. You want the crop kind of pointing downward? We'll see if this works and what comes out. You can usually tell by her face if she's about to let it go. She'll work her mouth a little bit. And then she'll just kind of open her mouth and stuff will start to pour out. I'm gonna give her a break. How are you doing, girl? Okay, we're gonna try again here. I'm going to point her down. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's getting ready. Maybe not. I'll give it one more shot. Okay. Some people hold her by, her by their feet, which I don't think they, uh, I, I don't really feel that weird about doing that. Or something. Come on. Well, maybe she's a. Uh... So maybe she's not gonna throw up today. How does it feel? Does the crop feel like it needs to be a bit empty? It's about half full. About half as full as it was the last couple times we did it. It's not completely descended, but it just doesn't feel like it's. Here we go. There we go. So she's letting go some stuff. Ugh, poor baby. It does not smell good. It smells horrific. You can see there's this. still stuff coming out from before. This is grass that we've got in there. Uh, I'm not going to put her down. No, you can take her back in. So, okay. what that is is grossness, but also it's a lot of uh, yeast, probably. Well, so also there's grass that she hasn't been out eating grass. Can you try now. giving her one more, Dennis? It's empty. There's nothing there. Now I can feel that the crop is completely empty. So one tip that I would give is you massage it, massage it, they start to work their mouth when it starts to come up. And I suspect it's not that different from when a person throws up. You can't just squeeze it out and make it um, come out. You have to massage it and then once she releases it, you feel it, see it start to come out. And that's when I give it like a little, just massage it out and it just all, I can feel it emptying out and coming all out at once. So, um, so now we're gonna give her some yogurt and Pedialyte mixture when her crop is empty. Hopefully keep the yeast uh, count under control by um, replacing what was in her crop with some good bacteria. 
and um, that seems to make her feel a lot better. Yeah. Okay, and that's that. See you next time.